Hi, this is Holly from The Sweet Simple Things, and welcome to my channel where we share healthy and nourishing recipes the whole family will love. Make sure you hit subscribe to see all the latest recipes. Today we're making another Ninja Creamy flavor. This is cookies and cream. So start by putting your Ninja Creamy pint container on a scale, and we're gonna measure out 100 grams of 2% cottage cheese. If you don't have a scale, this is just under half a cup. And yes, you can use Greek yogurt instead if you really don't like the idea of cottage cheese in your ice cream. But I promise you can't taste it. We're going to blend it up. So it just makes it super creamy and rich and thick and scoopable. Then 50 grams of a whey isolate protein powder. I'm using Legion. I'm really liking it lately just because it has a very natural flavor. And because 50 grams is kind of a lot, you want to have a good tasting protein powder. Um, if you are using like a cheap one that just tastes very artificial, your ice cream is just going to taste very artificial and cheap. So uh, your ice cream is only going to taste as good as your protein powder is. So I'm really liking Legion. If you buy the big sizes is not too expensive but use whatever kind you like I just recommend for the proportions that I'm using to use whey isolate then we're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste I like the paste for ice cream better than the extract but extract works too so if you don't have paste use extract then I'm going to use a tablespoon of allulose. I'm using a lot of allulose as my sweetener in these lately. Um, it's just so neutral tasting. A lot of um, non-nutritive sweeteners have kind of a funny aftertaste or something, but allulose does not. And then two tablespoons of a sugar-free chocolate chip cookie dough flavor syrup. This stuff is bomb. It is my favorite. I got it at TJ Maxx. It is not that expensive. And I use two tablespoons. It's so good. I put it in any vanilla flavored creamy. It just is adds like a buttery richness. It's really good. And then we're going to fill up to the line with fat-free milk. I like Fairlife because it's creamier, less calories than regular. Um, if you fill up to the line, that is about one cup. And then use an immersion blender to blend it until it is smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, use a whisk and just whisk it all together. I recommend using Greek yogurt instead of cottage cheese if you're going to use a whisk. That way you can just make sure that you don't have curds that sink to the bottom. We are going to freeze this on a flat surface for 24 hours. All right, time to spin. Um, I'm going to put it into my bowl and get my lid secured. And I'm going to do my first spin here on light ice cream. While that is spinning, I will chop up my sandwich cookies. I'm using high key sandwich cookies because these are sugar free, 70 calories for three cookies. And you know, they're not half bad. Are they an Oreo? No. But as a mix-in for these Ninja Creamies, they're a super great option. So I'm just chopping them into fourths here. And as soon as the ice cream is done spinning, we are going to put them in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so when it's done spinning, first thing you want to do is check the texture. If it's still crumbly and powdery, you're going to want to do a respin. But mine looks pretty good. So I'm going to take a knife and just kind of run it along the edges. This loosens any ice from the edges so that in my next spin, it can blend all that in. This is optional. You don't have to do the edges with the knife. Then take your knife. Dig a little well in the center and make sure you go all the way down. Otherwise, your mix-ins are going to stay concentrated to the top when the lid spins. So I'm putting all my cookie pieces in there and I'm just going to try to push them down as deep as I can so that they disperse evenly.
Then we're gonna put it back in the machine, get the lid on there. And this time we're gonna press the mix-in setting. So find the mix-in, press that. And we'll let it mix our cookies in throughout our ice cream and see how it looks. Okay, it looks so creamy and good. It's got the cookies all broken up throughout. Now we'll test it. Yep, this one's a keeper. We really love this cookies and cream flavor. Um, I've got a few other flavors. Make sure you check those out if you're interested in Ninja Creamy recipes, but this one is delicious. I hope you guys enjoy.